you ever question your faith? I'll tell you that as a rabbi, it's easy to preach. It's easy that when someone else comes and has an issue, has a problem, for me to tell them how they're supposed to feel, how they're supposed to have faith in God. And when it comes to me, if I'm going through the same struggles, it's a lot harder to tell it to myself. But I am Jewish. I have a connection that can get me through, God willing. What is the meaning of life? Simple, Deep end. simple stuff. <laughs> So you have to understand that this is something that I think about every day. God put us here in this world and everyone has a purpose. Each of us can make our own world a better place in our own way. Just imagine that there's this huge, huge portrait, just massive beyond any of our comprehension. And you know, like the color by number, we're each given a location, a spot, we're given the colors and all you see is your own little part. But then at a certain point, we all take one giant step back and you can look back and we see that incredible, beautiful portrait that was created from all the billions of people that ever existed, each of us doing our part. You're speaking to me as a portrait artist for sure. Could you describe the feeling of a spiritual experience? I go back in my memory where I was a seven-year-old kid and I really, really prayed to God and I meant it with every, every part of it, with my whole heart. I try to put myself back there, I try to put myself back when it was real. But I'll tell you, those soulful connections of just me and God, if it doesn't translate into actually helping another person, I don't feel like that has a lasting effect. Those are very helpful because it gets me there, but the things that are the most spiritual connections, the ones that are transcendent, the ones that leave a mark, are the ones where someone else becomes better because of it. What do you look for in a friend? I'll share with you something that I hear from my father all the time. And he quotes his mother all the time about this. And that is the concept of being a mensch. A mensch means be a good, solid person. And I think about the people I'm closest with. Some are religious, some are less religious, but that's not really what makes it. It's the people who I respect because of who they are. But I mean, you must think they correlate, being religious and a good person. I wish, I wish I could say that they do, because they, they, they should, they must. How can you stand and say, God, I'm so close with you, and then hurt his children? But unfortunately, we're all humans, and people are people. So it doesn't, and that's something that we have to teach. If we're rabbis, if we're spiritual leaders, we have to show our spirituality, our religion has to bring us closer, closer to God, but also closer to other people. Uh, where do we go after we die? The soul is eternal and our connections with the people that we love and that we care about goes way beyond the physical. But as far as a place where we go, this is something, spirituality is right here. Think about how you've got your world right here. There's the things that I see, but then there's the things that I'm thinking about. I can't see them, but it's the world of intellect that's happening right here. Then we have our emotions. Like that's its own world, but it's happening right here. And that's how we look at the world of souls. That is happening right here. It's eternal. We can tap into it. We can connect to it, but we have to want to. We have to have, find that access. Okay, you ready? <clears throat> <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Jacob. You were not drawing when you were in middle school. I don't remember.